foreigner live in Japan. What I eat for daily diet is so different from what I eat in Hong Kong. Today, I would like to show you my weekly diets, including my self-cooking and dining out in Japan. I usually go to the supermarket or the Hyakuyan shop for the ingredients. And I pay attention to the ingredients on sale. It's fresh and cheap. Today, I bought this. This is called katsuo, which you might easily see this on the top of takoyaki, but today I eat this as sashimi. How I'm gonna eat is just marinate the fish with ponzu, or I call this yuzu vinegar, soy sauce, oba, oh, the green shiso, and myoga ginger. I rarely saw myoga outside of Japan, hence it's also called Japanese ginger. The taste is so different of regular ginger and has a very distinctive flavor. Best match with katsuo sashimi. And with a little bit of the regular ginger paste. These spices really bring out the umami of the fish. As I find if you just simply eat katsuo with soy sauce, it tastes um a bit fishy. And you don't have to finish the sashimi just in one day. You can keep this to tomorrow to make a delicious ochatsuke simply with cooked rice and green tea. I would add a teaspoon of hongdashi, another type of MSG, but more acceptable for foreigners. It's super handy, very busy people friendly, and they only cost 10 minutes on chopping. Then you can enjoy the dish two days in a row. And today I also bought the cooked tofu from supermarket's deli corner as side dish. I find the deli food in Japan tastes so good, and you don't even mention how many types of deli there in the regular Japanese supermarket. I mean, you could basically just buy your dinner here. It's amazing. Mm. Mm. I like the taste of the ponzu. It matches with the um, green shiso so much. And of course the fish. It's fully marinated. So you can actually taste the marinated edges from the fish. Tanshokudesh! As you might easily see beef bowl restaurants such as Yoshinoya, Sugiya, everywhere in Japan. What if we make ourselves own beef bowl? I ran into this 500 gram beef on sale the other day in the supermarkets and I figured, hey, why don't I just cook the beef bowl myself? 500 gram is plenty enough to make beef bowl as my dinner for 3 days for just 600 yen. Okay, so I get the beef and the other key ingredient to make beef bowl is the onion. For 500 gram beef, you probably need like 1 to 2 onions. <laughs> Stir fry the onion and soy, miling as always, cooking wine and some sugar to boil the onion. Then we boil the beef with this cooked sauce. A few moments later. An alternative MSG hondashi. After it's cooked, just grab some of the beef on top of cooked rice. Oh, and don't forget to add some marinated ginger and raw egg. Ah. <laughs> it always feels something missing if you don't add this too. Itadakimasu. See, another handy dish. What you need to do is to chop the onion, put into the spices, and cook the beef. Mm. There are certain days that I don't want to cook. Seriously, we are in Japan. Imagine if you are here, how would you miss the chance to dine outside with a plenty of incredible Japanese food out there? My must-go to place when I eat out is either yakiniku or yakitori. Both are perfect for meat eater. There are now plenty of yakiniku places welcoming solo eaters like me, so you won't feel weird having barbecue alone. If you have no idea of what to order, just have the omakase. The restaurant will decide the dish based on today's menu for you. I usually order hormone, the intestine of cow, and dew tongue, and of course, the beer. It is also a very good option to have yakiniku during lunch, because there are always lunch sets for yakiniku and it's much cheaper to enjoy. 
cattle beef is my must order part of meat. Look at the fat. You'll be regretting yourself missing this if you like eating meat like me. Yakitori is another type of Japanese food that you should not be missing out. I myself like to order the chicken liver, shiroleba, chicken heart, hazu, as usual. But if you're not into organs like most of my foreign friends do, feel free to order the purely meat yakitori like tomato maki, tsukune, and negima with a glass of beer, of course. Itadakimasu! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you enjoy your evening by visiting a small but cozy izakaya by this simple but yummy yakitori and beer. If you ask hundreds of visitors what they would like to eat during trip in Japan, I bet over 50 of them would answer sukiyaki. Yes, that's right, with pieces of wagyu and some simple ingredients, and a dip into the fresh raw egg. Wow, fantastic baby! But having sukiyaki in a restaurant can be very pricey. For example, in Imahang, the famous sukiyaki restaurant, the sukiyaki course costs from 6,000 to 13,000 yen. But here, in the supermarket, I found the Japanese black beef which costs only 1,200. And take a deep look, there is 30% discount also. Told you to pay attention to the goods on sale in supermarket so you won't be missing out. People would just simply figure out I'm gonna have sukiyaki tonight, just have a quick glance of my basket. A few moments later. Look at this fat. I bet it's gonna taste good. Cooking sukiyaki is super easy. Put wagyu beef and other ingredients you like, as long as you have the sukiyaki sauce. I personally like the mushrooms, tofu, ah, make sure to fry the skin, spring onion, and crown daisy. Remember to have the first bite of the pure meat without any other ingredients, just simply the sauce, to taste the true flavor of the wagyu. Let's And remember to cook the rest of the ingredients with plenty of sukiyaki sauce and the rest of the meat. The homemade sukiyaki costs like 1500 yen in total, but the quality tastes like 6000 yen in the restaurant. There are certain days that I just don't feel like cooking or either dining out. In this case, konbini food, the food from convenience store, could save your life. You will be surprised by the variety of food in the convenience store and what you need to do is just microwave it. I bought the traditional Japanese niku tofu, tantan men, fried dumpling, and wash-free salad for dinner. What we need to do is simply microwave it. Pour the wash-free cabbage salad on the plate. And ta-da! Dinner's ready! People might link the image of konbini food to mazi, which means bad in Japanese. But let me assure you that Japanese convenience store food tastes quite good, that you won't be regretting having the dinner with just konbini food. Dewa, itadakimasu! Not sure if any of you have tried the Korean barbecue after midnight. If you haven't, then you should. This is such a guilty pleasure. Some Korean barbecue restaurants open until 5 a.m. So when you're a bit drunk after drinking around till late, then a Korean restaurant is definitely the best place to avoid hangover. What I ordered the other night was a barbecue set for sure. And we ordered a traditional Korean gejang. I could not imagine if there's anything happier than having a gejang after midnight. It's a joke, of course, but by looking at me enjoying the crap, you know how happy I was, right?
For the green shiso, if you like the scent of this, please try the below recipe. Marinate the shiso with soy and sesame oil for 40 minutes and above. It tastes so good with rice. It's dropping the juice. Mmm!